This is our song, everybody sing it Clap your hands, y'all, and do it like you mean it We stand our ground and we don't back down And if you don't like it, then don't come around I can remember talking to Shannon and calling him up and saying, hey man, you know, we really need to pay attention to X, Y, and Z. He said, man, I'm gonna send you something and you, it'll take all your worries away. And I said, okay, cool. And he sent me driving around song. And of course it had Jason on it. I was like, cool, man. I, I don't know how this is gonna solve the problem I was just talking about, but thanks for sending, thanks for sending me a hit. And, and this kind of goes back to my buddy Jason Aldean. People had asked forever, why hadn't y'all done a song together? Well, just because they're my buddy don't mean we're going to do a song together if they don't like the song. So it's all about finding the right song. And then it was getting near Christmas time and, uh, and, and Craig said, man, I got a song. For, I got a song that's perfect for you. And he emailed me this song and it was just, it was unbelievable. I said, this is, this is perfect for Jason. I sent it to him, and like a lot of us artists, sometimes we're busy, we're running and gunning. Most of the time, it might take a minute to get back. I literally sent him the song, and within five minutes, he had he hit me back and was like, "This, this is the one. I love it." Driving around song as a professional was probably the most frustrating thing I've ever been involved with because it was a great record. A great performance with Colt and Jason and we could just not get over the hump from a chart perspective. Fans were eating it up, the listeners were loving it. We had a video with, with uh, Danica Patrick in it. Frustrating from an industry standpoint because it just wouldn't connect, but man what a revolutionary record as well. Um, what are we, eight years removed from that, seven years removed from that song? And I had somebody ask me three days ago, um, why didn't that song make it? And I had to look the guy in the eye and said, because guys like you didn't play it. Declaration of Independence, it, it, it was a statement in and of itself because Average Joe's is independent. I've, I've always, again, believed in that model. As our first record to actually debut at number one on the Billboard chart, which country chart, which to us was, you know, we finally really arrived. Little old Average Joe's, little independent label out of Nashville, Tennessee, could have a number one album in their country.